topic of your lesson this morning. The role of the prophet and prophesy. The role of the prophet. And um, I heard Sister Roberts was asking the question, the role of the prophet. And it took so long even for a response. Just if I should ask, what is the role of a driver? To drive. What's the role of a worshiper? Worship. So praise God. So, so I was expecting a swift answer. It's simple. A prophet just prophesy, foretell. You know, say something before it happens. So um, if we go in layman terms, of course, it is so simple and easy. We're not looking for a great theological explanation. Just in layman term, praise God. So um, if someone says, thus saith the Lord, how do you know if the Lord saith or not? When the Lord says something, how long does it take to come to pass? Is there a specific number of years? No. No, Bishop. Right, so there are some times you might hear a word and you might not have seen it and you believe that the Lord did not speak. But can I tell you, most of the prophets, they died before seeing what they speak from the Lord. Amen. So many times they might prophesy and it never come to pass in your lifetime. But as long as it is from the Lord, it will be fulfilled. Praise God. Um, if you should know the, the number of years and centuries of these prophets, that the, the things that we're seeing today coming to pass, thousands of years, thousands from way back, there are prophecies that uh, were spoken in Genesis which we are speaking about 42 generations ago. Almost 6,000 years. And they are just coming to pass. This is why it's very important when you hear a word of prophecy. Write it. If you hear the said the Lord, grab your pen. Right? Even if you're running the house and jumping up and down and speaking in tongues, if you can hear, sickle yourself, write it. Because if you don't write, you're not going to remember. There are sometimes, even in a dream, you might have a dream in the night. And you trust that when you wake up in the morning, you are going to remember that dream. Don't do that. The worst pen and paper is better than the best brain. So if you don't have a pen, if you have a pencil, use the pencil because I'm telling you when you get up in the morning, you're not going to remember what you dream. So write. If the word of God is going forth when I'm teaching or preaching or any time the service, and I want to encourage everyone, make sure it's very important that you travel with a pen. And if it's not a diary, a bit of paper that you can write things on. Because there are sometimes some words come direct to you that you really don't want to forget them. Praise God, I think Sister Electra is writing right now. That's a good, that's a good example. It's very important, brothers and sisters, that you write. Sometimes I write in my hand. 
Because many times when the Lord spoke to me, I might not have paper, I'm going to write it in my hand. And as soon as I go, I'm going to jot it down because I want to make sure that I have those words. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Thank God for Sunday school. Thank God for our teachers. Thank God for you who are here. Praise God. The line wasn't really clear. It was um, so off. Praise God. We are lost. We are losing the, um, the line student for some reason. Praise God. Maybe it's time for everybody to come back into the house of God. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Sometimes you don't understand why things happen the way it does. Amen. We give God thanks. Praise God that the church is still open. Amen. Amen. We cannot guarantee for how long. But let us make the best. Let us make the best. Praise God. God bless you to the stand of we are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bow your heads as we close. Eternal God and our Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Holy Father, for this moment. We thank you for this hour. Oh God, we are grateful for this privilege that we can come in your house to magnify your name. Lord God, as we have come to the end of this session, I pray God for your word that went forth. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for those who receive the word with gladness and with singleness of heart. I pray, Lord God Almighty, you help us, O oh God, to digest your word. So it will find a root, it will germinate, and it will grow in the name of Jesus. Bless your people now, God. And Lord God Almighty, as we're about to go into the second half of today's worship, I pray God Almighty will give us divine unction, give us divine direction. We pray, God, choose the songs, the scripture in the name of Jesus. And as we lift up our voices, as we lift up our hands to you, oh God, Healing will come, deliverance will come, victory will come in the name of Jesus. We are anticipating a mighty outpouring of your spirit, oh God, today. In the name of Jesus, you are never failing God. You cannot fail God. And so we trust you now. We dedicate ourselves to you right now, Lord God Almighty, as you usher us into your divine presence, as we magnify your holy name now. In Jesus' name, and for Christ's sake, amen, amen. Praise.